Yes, hello, welcome on in to Linear Sports here for the one season challenge with Barcelona, the final episode today on Football Manager 21. We are playing in the Champions League final up against Juventus, a clash of titans. Messi against Ronaldo, Barcelona against Juventus, ourselves playing against a team that we used to manage in a one season challenge before. It's all, all coming down to this one game to see if we succeed in this one season challenge and if you do enjoy this video please make sure and leave it a like it really will help us out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already this is the end of the one season challenge with Barcelona here on Football Manager 21 but there'll be more sports game content for you to see very very soon and there'll be a little video explaining that coming up beforehand as well. So make sure you hang about, hit that subscribe button and you won't miss anything that I'm releasing on this channel. So yes, yeah, so we're playing up against Juventus in the final here. But I know the question you're asking, how, how, how did we get here? So let's look at Group H. That's the group we were in and we managed to scrape through in second place. You can see who won the group. It was Juventus. They beat us twice in the group stages. We just about scraped through ahead of Leipzig, who were in third. To be honest, mainly thanks to the fact that Leipzig somehow lost to Slovan Bratislava. If it wasn't for that, we would have been out and we wouldn't even have got here. You can see down the bottom of your screen there, Ronaldo is the top scorer in the competition with 15 goals. But remember, we played this group stage before Christmas and that was before we changed our fantastic five at the back tactic, which has completely changed our fortunes. And you'll be able to see that looking at the first knockout round. We managed to be Inter Milan... One of uh, one of Juventus's uh, fellow fellow compatriots from Italy, we'll say that. Uh, we managed to beat them five two over two legs, a three 0 win and a two all draw. We then played the quarterfinals where we beat another Italian side. It was Lazio this time, and we won seven one on aggregate. There, Juventus meanwhile had managed to beat Real Madrid on penalties, just scraping past in the first knockout round. And then they played up against Chelsea, where they managed to demolish them, winning 8-3 on aggregate. So both ourselves and Juventus did really well in that quarter-final stage. 7-1 for us, 8-3 for them. We then went to the semi-finals, and that was a little bit tighter for ourselves. We managed to get through on away goals. We got a 1-0 draw away in Manchester when we were playing Manchester City and then we drew 0-0 at home which meant we got through on away goals and Juventus managed to win 6-4 and I could get up against Liverpool. So that has got us to where we are today which is a final which has been held in Turkey I believe if I have a look at this somewhere it should tell me. I hope we'll find it at some point. Um against Juventus, neutral venue, can we do it? Can Messi beat Ronaldo? Can we be successful in this one season challenge? We've already won La Liga. You'll have seen that in the last episode. If you watched it, if you haven't, go and, go and see it. We played against Atletico Madrid. It was a very enjoyable episode. And now we see if we will win the Champions League. And these are the 11 players who we are going to select to go and do that for us today. It's Ter Stegen in goal. He's been absolutely outstanding this season. If you look at his history, this is just the league. It doesn't include the continental competitions, but he's only conceded 13 goals in 27, including 18 clean sheets. If you look at overall record, he's had 21 goals conceded in 36 and 22 clean sheets. He's been absolutely outstanding for us in goal since he's come back from injury. Maybe that actually coincided with the, the change in fortune more than the formation change, but don't don't let that don't let that change your opinion of this formation. This is the best formation. In front of him are going to be our normal back three. PK, Araujo, and Alaba at the back. They have been so good. See, recently PK's not been great, but all of them above a seven average rating. They've been very solid indeed for us. Sergio Roberto back from injury on the right hand side, as is Jordi Alba on the left hand side. They've been outstanding up and down those wings for us. In midfield, we've got lots of different options in midfield, but we're going to go with Busquets as the deep line playmaker. Pjanic acting as that central midfielder, almost a box to box. Not, not literally a box to box, otherwise, you'd be set as that. But on the central midfield, on automatic, and De Jong pushes further forward. And that advanced playmaker role gets late runs into the box quite a lot. And in front of them, 
We've got so many options up front, but we are going with Messi in that deep line role. He'll kind of almost act like an attacking midfielder. And Griezmann leading the line as that advance for just on the last defender. It worked so well in the last league game. We played this side in the last league game just to get them all back up to fitness and because he'd had a few games off after we'd already won the league with a few games to go. And Griezmann managed to get himself a hat-trick, all the goals being running on from that last man. So... That's that's why he's so good in that position as that advance forward. Messi pinging the balls into him. It's, it's a really good partnership. It's really unfortunate for players like Ibrahimovic and Sufati. He's been playing really well recently as well. Edward, we'll not talk about him because he's not been that good since we signed him to the club, unfortunately. But Messi and Griezmann up front today. We've got Ibrahimovic and Fatih basically on the bench if we need to bring them on. We've got Locatelli, Pedri, Ramsey, Lucas Leva can replace the midfield players. Lots and lots of options. But this side should be good enough to go and win us our Champions League title. Our only Champions League title, should we win it, our be our only one of these one-season challenges. We've had two chances at it when that was the main objective of the, the one-season challenge. One with Juventus and one here with Barcelona. Can you imagine if we lose to Juventus here in the Champions League final and, in, and Juventus do win the Champions League final in the one-season challenge, just not when I'm the manager of them, I'd be so disappointed. But I'm not even going to think about that. We are going to win this. And it's coming up right now. So here we go. Let's have a look at this Juventus side. Chesney in goal. Danilo, De Ligt, Benucci and Alexandro at the back. It looks like they're playing 4-4-2. Quadrado, Bentancur, Artur and Ricardo Horta playing on the left-hand side. And Dybala and Cristiano Ronaldo up front. Go and lift that. You're born winners, I will say to them. And we can see the teams on the screen now. I was playing, obviously, a 5-3-2 formation and Ronaldo's Juventus playing 4-4-2, as I expected. You can see they don't actually have a huge number of names on that bench. I wonder if they've got a few injuries. I think they must. Players like Chiesa are not even on the field or in the squad, I should say. And it starts off with a highlight early on. We've given the ball away. And Arter, the former Barcelona man who's at Juventus now, Finds Alexandro and Ben Tancur with it. Back over to Arta and Alexandro is in space here. Swings it over to Quadrado. Jordi Alba tries to meet him. It's a good challenge from Alba and it's cleared away. And now Griezmann's got it. And can he get past De Ligt? Yes, he can. De Ligt flew in, but he missed the challenge. Griezmann on the left-hand side. Can he finish this himself? He took it the whole way. The, the ball's rolled into the goal, but it looks like they're going to give us a penalty kick. Is that true? Checking for a penalty. That is exactly what they're doing. And it is indeed a penalty kick, even though the ball rolled into the goal. I'd have preferred the goal, to be honest. But Messi has a chance here, three minutes into the game, to put us ahead. Oh, and he's missed the penalty. Oh, dearie me. Three minutes in and he's missed a penalty kick. That could destroy his confidence for the rest of the game. I hope it doesn't, but there's a chance it might. He takes a free kick here and it's saved by Chesney. And we're on top in these first five minutes. I know that's crazy to say five minutes and we're on top, but we are. Pjanic with the corner, swings it into the back post and it's headed over by Alaba. We've had lots of chances here at the start of this game, but we're not ahead just yet. The time is ticking along and we'll see if any more chances appear, they do indeed. Sergio Roberto throws it in to De Jong. Roberto back to De Jong. He gets past his man. Can he cross it? And he can. Griezmann slides in and he gets his 26th of the season. And we're up 1 0, 13 or 14 minutes into this game. Even though we've missed a penalty, we are ahead now. 1 0 up against Juventus. And that's a wonderful, wonderful goal there for us. You see the ball from Roberto into De Jong. He gets past two men there. He slots it across the goal and the Griezmann just gets in there. De uh, Matty De Ligt seems to go down far too early and Griezmann manages to slide in behind him and get the goal. And now, another highlight here, just a minute later, Messi's on the ball. He's charging down this right-hand side. Can he cross it over for Griezmann? He's in the middle if he can find him. He plays it back to Roberto instead and he pulls it into the middle and Messi hits it and it's a good save from Chesney. And we are just about able to catch our breath. I'm sure you've already noticed we're not having any cuts during the game here today. I'll be talking through the full thing. You'll get to see all the game, all the highlights. You normally do anyway, but I'll not be cutting anything out at all. 
You'll be able to see absolutely everything that happens. And we've got the ball at the back here. Sergio Roberto now on the right-hand side. Plays it infield to Pian. It gets past his man. Through for Griezmann. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. He dinks it over Chesney. And Antoine Griezmann on that last man. What was I saying about that? He scored so many goals like that this season as he advanced forward. And he's done another one. He done another one. He scored another one here. See Sergio Roberto. Plays it into Pian. It gets past his man. Plays a lovely through ball. And on that last man, Griezmann gets in behind. And Chesney goes down too early. Griezmann just chips all over him. Lovely. And 20 minutes into this game, we've missed a penalty and we're still up 2-0. There's another highlight here on the left-back position for Juventus. And the Alexandros managed to get rid of that ball and Horta has it. And he's come in field and he's going to play the ball back to Ben Tancur, who switches it toward Quadrado, but Alaba gets rid of it. And Danilo, who's already on a yellow card, finds Arta through toward Ronaldo. Can he get one back? No, he can't. It's a good save from Mark Ander Ter Stegen. And we're still ahead 2 0 here. A corner kick will be taken by Dybala. He swings it into the box and it's headed away by Piquet straight to Dybala. It's into Artur. Oh my goodness, Ter Stegen flew across the goal there, but the ball didn't move at all. And we're still managing to hold on to this 2-0 lead. Half an hour gone now. We're not going to tell Frankie de Jong to mark the right, the left winger. That's not going to make any sense. Jordi Alba switched the play to Roberto. He's in acres of space here. Back to de Jong now. Back to Roberto. And de Jong, will he hit this? Yes, he will. Oh, it's wide of the goal. Oh, no. It was a save from Chesney. It felt as if it was very wide. He wouldn't have had to touch it. But he did nonetheless. And Pjanic swings in this corner. And it's headed away by Ronaldo. And it's come back out to Pjanic and Sergio Busquets and... Roberto has it and that's the end of the highlight lots of highlights in this first half I must say it's been very very exciting most of them for us and we lead 2-0 going into the half I must say I'm not going to change anything at all we've had most of the, the chances we've not actually had most of the ball but we've had most of the chances I can't even remember what I just said to them I just did whatever the assistant manager said there I can't remember what I said let me know if you think it was a stupid thing to say down in the comments below there's been five yellow cards for Juventus in this game and they've got a free kick here it's swung into the back post it's headed in by Cristiano Ronaldo and he's managed to get himself on the score sheet here and that's brought Juventus back into this game curled into the back post just nobody marking him you can't do that with Ronaldo at the back post and Juventus pull one back and it's 2-1 now and you can see they've had a lot more shots in the second half we're yet to have a shot in this second half but there are 20 minutes to go we've just had our first one there's 15 minutes to go now and there's some fairly tired legs in the midfield so we're going to take them off off comes De Jong and on comes Ramsey and off comes Pjanic and on comes Locatelli as well Busquets has not been playing well today but we're going to keep him on there just to, in case for the next few minutes because I know he's got that experience in there. He's not having a good game at all. But he might, we might just be able to hold on with him playing in that midfield role. Ramsey heads the ball away there. One of the few highlights in the second half. And Artur and Rabiot pass the ball about there in midfield. Bonucci switches the play over to the right-hand side. And De Maral is out on that right-hand side. Plays it into Artur and Dybala. But it's intercepted by Busquets. But it's back to Dybala and Ronaldo and Artur and Dybala. And through to Ronaldo and he's got to finish. And he does. And it's 2 all. And there's seven minutes left in this game. And it's back to 2 all. And that has been an impressive turnaround from Juventus and particularly from Cristiano Ronaldo. It's wonderful football there in the middle of the park. Defenders getting dragged out of the way and Ronaldo goes ahead. I say Ronaldo, he gets two two goals, so he has. And, uh, and Juventus have managed to pull it back and there's four minutes added time in the second half and we've reached extra time. It's going to extra time. Of course it is. It wouldn't be a one-season challenge without drama. And indeed, we have gone to extra time there is drama here and I think I think it might be time for Busquets to come off because he's not been good at all as I mentioned and Messi is struggling as well we're going to bring on Zlatan Ibrahimovic for Messi we're going to take off Busquets and we're going to bring on Lucas Leva for him in midfield and they're the two changes we're going to make at the start of extra time here let's see how we get on as the time ticks by Seven minutes gone and Chesney's got the ball here. Halfway through this first period of extra time, he launches the ball long and it's Morata who heads out onto Quadrado. And now there's a chance here for Juventus. Quadrado down the right-hand side, crosses it over. Ronaldo, Modra oh my goodness me, Morata. I said Modrata, that's not his name. Morata had a shot there and it was cleared away and Zlatan finds Jordi Alba through toward Griezmann. Can we get a goal ourselves here? Griezmann, he hits it off the defender. And it's out for a corner kick. End-to-end -end stuff here in extra time. I suppose that's not surprising. Lucas Leva swings it in. It's headed away as far as Alaba. And Lucas again with it. What's he going to do? He swings it into the box. Latan could get there, but he doesn't. It's headed on by Sergio Roberto. 
And that is the end of the highlight. And there are just a few minutes left until we reach half time here. And indeed, we have reached half time. The score still to all. This is where you consider do you bring on good penalty kick takers or do you just bring on good players to try and win you this in normal time? Well, the answer is a free kick to Juventus. It's swung into the back post. It's bounced about and it's cleared away just about by Sergio Roberto out for a throw in. And we're going to pause this game. There's two minutes left and I'm going to look at some of these fairly tired legs and see who is not good at penalties. Penalty taking 13 for Araujo. He gets to stay on. PK gets to have penalties at 13. He gets to stay on. Alaba gets penalty taken at 15. He gets to stay on. Goodness me, all the defenders are great at penalties. 12 from Sergio Roberto. Do we have any bad penalty kick takers? 10 as our worst so far from Jordi Alba. Good penalty from Ramsey as well. Lucas is actually one of the worst penalty takers in the team. Manuel Locatelli has some fairly all right penalties, as does Latan, and I'm assuming Griezmann's are decent as well. Yes, they are. Who do we have on the bench? Could come on. Austin Edward penalties are 15. Ansu Fati's penalties are 13. Pedri's penalties are 12. Christian Pavon's are down at 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring on Odson Edward for Lucas Leva here. I know that might seem like a strange thing to do, but we can play Odson Edward in that left-hand side of the midfield three for the last few minutes and drop Locatelli into the defensive midfield role, ready for a penalty shootout, because I think we're going to go there. There's just few a few seconds left. It would be heartbreaking if... If uh, Juventus managed to get a goal here right at the end, Rabio with it. Into Ronaldo. It's a great save from Ter Stegen. It's just jumped straight to the penalty show. The referee must have blown his whistle straight away there. Oh, and goodness me, we have the penalty shootout to decide what order we're going in. Do we put Odson Edward on the first penalty as it suggests we might? I think we're going to give the first one to David Alaba. He's going to do the work there. Then we'll bring on Edward so he doesn't have to go up for the first one. Oh, Araujo is normally good at penalties. So we'll put him on that one. We'll put Zlatan on the fourth one, which could be so important. And Griezmann can come in for the fifth. Following that, we'll go what? PK, Ramsey, Locatelli, Sergio Roberto, Jordi Alba, and Ter Stegen. We've, we've, we've done all 11. I don't want to use all 11, but we've done all 11. So the five men who will be taking penalties, we know Alaba, Edward, Araujo, Ibrahimovic and Griezmann. If Edward misses his penalty, it's going to be so disappointing for him because that's the only reason he's on. Relax, be decisive and know where you're putting your penalty. And we've gone to penalties here and we take the first penalty. And it's David Alaba to step up to take this. And he thrashes that into the top corner. What a penalty from him. And we're up 1-0 here. Cristiano Ronaldo steps up to take his. Can he put them ahead? Yes, he's got them back level at 1-0. Ronaldo scored the two goals in normal time for Juventus. And he scored the first penalty here. Ozan Edward only on to take a penalty. And he slots that in the bottom corner. I was worried when Chesney dove the right way. But thankfully, a goal from Edward. He's done what he had to do. Morata steps up now. He hits it and it's a good penalty. Ter Stegen guessed the right way, but it just wasn't good enough. And now, Araujo, who's only been playing the second half of the season, the central defender, steps up to take this penalty and he slots in the bottom corner. Never in doubt from him. Outstanding penalty. And his fellow defender, Bonucci, will step up for Juventus. Bonucci hits this penalty, and it's in the bottom corner as well, and we've not missed a penalty yet. Zlatan steps up. Will he score his? A couple of steps, and he's missed a penalty. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has missed a penalty for us here. The fourth penalty. Rabio steps up to take his. Can he put them ahead? Yes, he can. And now it's so important that Griezmann scores this penalty. Otherwise, Barcelona have lost in the Champions League final on penalties. They've crumbled. We've thrown away a 2-0 lead. Ronaldo dragged Juventus back into this. And now in the penalty shootout, there's a chance for Griezmann to get us back on level terms here. He does indeed. This is the most important moment of this whole game now. This penalty shootout is going down to this last penalty. Mark ander Ter Stegen in goal up against Alexandro, who will be taking a penalty for Juventus. If they score, they win. If we save it, it goes to knockouts, and they have scored, and Juventus have won the Champions League here. Oh, no, on penalties. After we went ahead 2-0, 
they've managed to drag themselves. I say they did. Ronaldo dragged Juventus back into this. He scored two goals in that second half to get them to extra time and penalties. And then they managed to, to score all their penalties. Ibrahimovic missed his. I'm not quite sure if it was a save or off the bottom of the post. But Ibrahimovic missed the important penalty in this shootout. And Juventus have won the Champions League. Oh, no. Juventus win the Champions League in the one-season challenge that I wasn't managing them. Here with Barcelona, we got to the Champions League final, but we've failed in our attempt to win the Champions League with Barcelona. What disappointment for us. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. I don't know if you can tell, but I am absolutely gutted. Looking at that game, it was a very even game. Probably deserved to be a draw. The first half we dominated, Juventus dominated the second. But, oh, that's so, so disappointing. I think just the substitutions did not did not perform well, unfortunately. Locatelli, Ramsey, Ibra, all having poor games after they came on. Oh, no. We've lost the Champions League final to Juventus. Oh, what a way to end this one-season challenge with Barcelona here losing in the Champions League final up against Juventus. I suppose it's fitting, isn't it? Another team we did a one-season challenge with beating us in the final. Oh, that's just really, really painful. As I say, though, if you have enjoyed this series as a whole, in fact, all the one-season challenges, we've done four of them now, one with Sheffield United, one with Juventus, one with Schalke and one with Barcelona. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It really, really, really does help us. I really would appreciate it as well because, you know, it's it's a little bit of something different. I've enjoyed doing it, uh, or I have enjoyed doing it, I should be saying, over these four different saves and uh yeah just a horrible way to end there please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can go and watch all the other one season challenges on football manager 21 there's also a huge big series with come football club as well trying to get them to win the spl and get into the champions league and you know what if you subscribe to the channel as well you won't miss out anything new that's coming to the channel uh, in the the next few weeks which is a little bit something different but we are called 11am sports and so far we've only talked about football here and played football manager 21 so maybe there's a little bit of something different coming up just round the corner so make sure and you subscribe so you don't miss any of that and until the next video we'll see you then